Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm doing your second week of December read, starting from the 8th to the 14th of December 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So let's see how the second week of December is going to be for Scorpio. I will be adding Oracle cards and uh, messages from your person in this read, so stay tuned and while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal leads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So, Scorpio, let's see how this week is going to be for you guys. Let's begin. Wow, the fool. Uh, for some of you, it could be dealing with the uh, with the Pisces as well because Pisces also got the first card as the fool. I, I, I think it was the first card for them as well. So with the full energy, wow, you and your specific someone could be starting something new together. It, it can be like, you know, you are ready to give into a connection with your specific someone. Uh, it's, it's more like you are taking chance on love is what I'm picking up. It's, it seems like, you know, you are, you might have been fearful around it earlier, but now you're ready to take that chance on love with that specific someone that you're currently dealing with. Um, it can be their energy towards you as well, but yes, I feel like you know, there is a lot of excitement in, uh, in regards to the situation that you are dealing with right now with your specific someone. Um, there is a lot of loyalty in this connection as well, is what I'm picking up. It's, it's, um, it's more like, you know, something beautiful has been added to your life. Uh, as you walk into the second week of December, there's a lot of excitement and happiness in, in your life around it. The team of cards here, two of pentacles. Um, I feel like, you know, uh, this, this person, this situation, this connection um, had always got you confused, had always got you kind of, you know, shall I, shall I not, shall I, shall I not. Somehow, something happened which, which made you choose them, which, which made you kind of, you know, take a chance on them. And I feel like, you know, it's a, uh, there, there has been a lot of emotions involved always. Um, Somehow, deep down, you always knew what you are going to take the, you know, uh, to, uh, you know, uh, what you are going to take the decision about. But at the same time, you were always having some ups and downs with the person, which always got you confused further. So I feel like, you know, the conflict that you were having around this person um, is going to get resolved. And uh, finally, you will be able to kind of, you know, choose for yourself to give into this connection with your person. It's, it's more like giving it a chance and if it works, wow. If it doesn't, you will see what happens. But yes, you are very excited around it. Let's see more cards here. It's more like a reconciliation or something. Wow. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Um, I do see a lot of attraction in this connection that you have with your person. Um, it can be you feeling a certain pull for them and it can be them feeling certain pull for you as well. So there's a lot of um, sense of belonging coming in in this connection between the two of you is what I'm picking up. Um, they are into you, you are into them, and it seems like, you know, mutual feeling of uh, appreciation that you share for each other, and it seems like, you know, it, it adds a lot of happiness, beauty, confidence in your life. Uh, maybe your person has told you that, that you are the awesome person that they have ever been with, um, but if they haven't, they will be, because I feel like, you know, this, this, this energy, that vibe that you are in right now, in the, in the second uh, week of December, it seems like you know it's uh, it's it's not um, just anything. It's 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 something um, that you can pick up. Like you know, it's it's a love uh, uh, in the air for the two of you in this connection. It seems like you know it's it's beautiful, which has made you take that step, which has made your person take that step. So it can be a mutual energy as well. But yes, I do see you starting beautiful uh, connection with your specific someone and feeling very confident for for getting what you wanted with them. Let's see more cards here. This is something that you patiently waited for. Um, it's a big yes coming from your person, or maybe you are saying a big yes to your person, which has definitely added a lot of confidence to your person. So I feel like, you know, this, this week is going to be amazing in regards to uh, taking a fresh start in, in a specific connection that you have with your person. Let's see one last card here. Five of Swords. For some of you, it can be your person's energy towards you where they have chosen you. And if you are the one who is choosing them, I feel like, you know, you might have had your mental, physical, emotional blocks around it. And uh, now, since you are choosing them, since you are choosing to give them a chance, um, you have 
fought the fears you have fought the inner demons around it and now you're ready you are excited you are uh, feeling happy about it on the internet we do have wow <laughs> ten of cups so it seems like you know this this week is definitely going to be beautiful for the scorpios let's see what is it that your person really wished to say to you what are their messages what do they want you to know what is it that your person really wished to say to you i want to marry you wow now this is something again i feel like you know there is a there is a need to be with you coming from your person here um i feel like you know with, with every every passing day that you are spending with your person as you start off a new chapter with each other i feel like you know there is going to be a sudden development coming in your connection with your person again as you start a new uh you know a, a renew a renewed connection with each other I feel like you know this this confidence that you would be having around the situation it's gonna make you make you feel like you want to marry this person as well um or maybe that's that's gonna make your person feel like you know they want to marry you now maybe uh them giving into the connection has been like uh impossible uh, or you giving into the connection has been impossible for them and since it's happening uh the need to be uh with you is getting kind of you know intensify for your person and i feel like you know that's going to be the moment when this person is really going to feel like you know they want to marry you they want to give this connection a chance uh with them giving into this connection 100% which they might have not done in the past so i feel like you know now they want to marry you and that's why they are giving into this connection right now completely and fully let's see more cards here i love your madness for me i feel like you know this person really wants to marry you because you love this person and they might have uh, never given it a, a 100% dedication now they want to because they want to marry you they want to give themselves into this connection with you let's see more messages from your person last message from your person what else do they want you to know when the time is right we will be to back together so this person really wants you to know whenever the time is right you and them will be back together now for those of you who are in no communication right now suddenly the patchup is happening in this week time this person and you are coming back together again they will be ready to give into this connection if they haven't been like you know uh entrusted to give this connection another chance now they are ready to give this connection another chance and they want to be with you and they want to marry you let's see oracle cards now let's see what the oracle has to add for you guys let's see surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter in our lives let go and all will work out now for some of you you might have stayed in a detachment for some time and as that detachment ended this new beginning is coming because you both might have surrendered to the divine um like uh, in 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 uh, in regards to like you know maybe you had uh ended the connection on your behalf like you know you felt like it's never going to work and maybe that time apart made your person understand they love your madness and uh, um maybe that's the reason why they want to come back to you in this week time uh, but yes i feel like you know the as you come back together the the past is no longer going to be like you know affecting your connection now you and them are starting something beautiful new together it's not going to be having anything from the past there between the two of you the the uh, the, the what we call it the slate will be definitely cleaned before you start a new uh you know um story to write on it so which is beautiful let's see my cards here miracles i feel like you know this this uh, new beginning is not going to be less than any miracle there have faith that your miracle is on its way your prayers have been answered to wonder the how so you don't have to worry about how will it happen just believe that it is happening and that's exactly what it is so um yeah just surrender the how part of it and again with this card here we do have the surrender of uh, coming in so it's very important for you to have faith in your dreams in your desire with your person if they rejected you in the past this time around they will not be rejecting you they are choosing to give you the chance that they uh, that they believe you deserve and they should give that chance to you because they also want to marry you they want to be with you in the past maybe they have been like you know having uh because of the past issues things might have uh, turned kind of you know um unfavorable for the connection but that time apart that that uh, situation where you might have uh, kind of you know pulled away from each other or had a fight with each other that has given this connection a new um you know um perspective 
uh, from from your person's end. And I feel like you know, that perspective is making this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, to understand how they actually feel for you. And they, now they know that they want to marry you. Now they know that they love the way you love them because they love your madness for them. Let's see, last card, uh, love who you are. Uh, you are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. It's very important for you to stop loving yourself, start uh, creating the life that you desire by knowing that you are worthy of the kind of life that you desire. You cannot have anything um, if, if you don't believe that you are worthy of that. So make sure you know that you are worthy of the kind of love that you seek, love that you desire with your specific someone, so it shall come to you easily and effortlessly. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you um, for this week time. If it helped you, do like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.